and they would say, we love you, we don't want anything to happen to you. So, I thought I had friends. And now, that's the last time I'm ever going to think that. Because throughout my life, I've always been very, very wary um, and careful of what I do with my heart. And very rarely do I give it out to people. And I've been rejected through my life. And so this, so group C, I, I thought, I thought I could open my heart to them, and I did, fully. And then just recently, I, I was having a depressive episode, and I contacted them, and they completely shut me down. They said, we can't talk to you anymore. You're too extreme for us. Or something like that. I don't... It had the word intense. This is too intense. And I said, I don't understand. I, I thought we were friends. I thought we could talk. And... They said, good luck with your life, but we just can't talk to you anymore and we will not respond to anything else you have to say. And that broke my heart so bad. And it still kind of does. So I told them th that they hurt me. And basically, they have just plunged me back down to the state that I was with group B when they just completely disregarded me and didn't want anything to do with me. Now these people that I thought accepted me and wanted to be friends with me, who I thought I was already friends with, these multiple people said, we can't talk to you, you're too extreme, you're too intense. Good luck with your life, but we don't even know you that well, so just don't. And that hurts so bad. That hurts so bad. I didn't, I didn't go into a hospital after that, but I so easily could have. And I was so much worse. I was so much worse that I think I think there's an even lower level past suicide. You think you'd think that suicide would be the lowest you could be at. But I think there's a place that's even lower where you are completely helpless and you can't even gather up the strength to try to harm yourself you just lay there or sit there or stand there and just cry and it's just empty and black and no one can help you and you're all alone And it's just nothingness. So for the next few days, I cried every day, every night. I was not getting any sleep. And it was destroying me and I'm still on I'm still through going through the healing process of that, so it's still, as you can see, it still does affect me, because it was very recent. But, 
but I, I didn't do anything wrong. And I know I didn't do anything wrong. Because I always told them that if I was making them uncomfortable, they should tell me. And they never said anything. If I was stepping boundaries, if I was becoming too forward or saying stuff that was not okay for them, they should have said, okay, can you not talk like that because that's triggering for us or for me, whoever I was talking to, and we or I just can't handle it. And then I would have been okay, okay. I won't, I won't discuss it anymore. Thank you for telling me. But they didn't do that. They didn't, they didn't do that at all. I thought everything was fine. They went to an event and said, we're not gonna be contacting you be right now because we're gonna be at this event and it's gonna be really busy. I said, okay, but I'm probably just gonna try and, I'm probably just gonna send you stuff anyway, just because it's in my head now and you know it's routine for me now and i have to have something to do every day that's consistent for me so you don't i know you don't you're not going to respond but i'm still just going to say hey how are you i'm fine i'm doing this hope you're having fun and i did that i did that and they didn't respond they didn't respond the whole time they were there and that's what i expected i expected them not to respond and they didn't but i still Sent a little, you know, howdy do. You know, if they didn't want that, they should have said, please do not do that. They didn't say that. They said, we won't be contacting you. They didn't say, don't contact us. I, I, I told them, I said, hey, I'm probably, I said, hey, I'm probably gonna be contacting you though. Just cause, you know, just to give you updates, not that you need updates, but just, you know, just because, because it's in me now. It's a, it's a part of my life now. I contacted them every day. And when I didn't contact them on a certain day, I would apologize the next day for not contacting them. Not severely po apologizing, like with group B. I would just say, hey, sorry I couldn't contact you. This happened, that's why. And they'd be like, it's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so they came back from their little event and I spoke to one of them a couple times, maybe two or three days, you know, in a row. Hey, how are you? And they'd, you know, respond. And when they wouldn't respond, I wouldn't say, hey, where are you? You know, I just let I think, you know, they're busy, so I'll just leave it, because it always showed, and this was all on Facebook, you know, so I'd always know when they saw my message, um, and, and knowing that they saw it was just enough for me to know that they were there, and they, and that they knew I, w I was alive, I was real, I was, <laughs> I was relevant enough for them to read what I had said. And even if they didn't respond, I knew that I was there, you know. And then they 